This is Tokyo Disney Sea, a theme park in Japan, a place of adventure, mystery, and discovery. But a massive rift is opened in the sky, bringing with it dark forces and filling the park with evil. My name is Tulio Falca, and I enlisted the help of two brave investigators. Hopefully, they can uncover secrets, solve puzzles, and unravel this mystery. Then again, maybe they'll accidentally do us all. you're with C, so are you looking into this thing? Yeah, well, we did oh, look yes. into it, and then it started whispering to us. Yeah, I would recommend not doing that again. But we are attempting to determine the cause of the anomaly in the sky, yes. Well, if you want if you want a suggestion from me, I'd say go talk to the CWC. Like I said, I haven't heard back from them, and it's starting to worry me. Like I said, CWC, mm. that's in Port Discovery right next door, but where else were you mm. folks planning on heading uh, that's on a need-to-know basis, and uh, that said, is there is there anywhere in the park, as far as you know, as an insider, someone who's been here for forty years, yeah, somewhere we could get something that would allow us to fly, or some sort oh. of flying vehicle, or some sort of jetpack, or some sort of you know those things. They haven't been like uh, yesterday land, that, you know, that yeah. Thing. Yeah, I know that place. Uh, well, yeah. uh, there's the Fantastic Flight Museum. I know mm. that uh, Camellia Falco is building a flying contraption, or she or she has mm. a flying contraption, uh, and she has been working with the CWC so they could build something called a Storm Rider. I think they want to build some kind of flying machine that they can use to track weather patterns, but from actually up in the air. So, you know, something mm. a bit more reinforced than just a... A, you know, a handheld type like glider or something that like Camellia Falco. I see. So, uh, and yeah, in uh, your Fantastic okay. Flight Museum, CWC. I think, I think there's like somebody, I think I saw a plane, uh, next to the mm. next to the temple, uh, in uh, Lost River Delta. I think that plane belongs to somebody, but it looks like it's uh, it's beached on the water there. It's one of those air, you know, the planes that have like the can land on water. A water plane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the term for that thing. A sea plane. Yeah, there's, uh, a, there's a sea plane right, right next to uh, next to the temple mm -hmm. in 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 uh, Lost River Delta. Sorry, it's impossible to remember all these names off the top of my head. Interesting sea plane. I'll okay. see plane. All right. I all see right, a right. plane. <laughs> and in your opinion, what would be the most expeditious, expeditious way to blackmail what's his face Falco to get access to her flying machine? Camellia Falco, you. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you need well, to I mean, blackmail which... her. You're part of. You guys said you're with. You're you're helping out. See. You can't yeah, probably well, we'll just see, go yes. there and ask her. Nick, it's a C plane. <laughs> and we are with C. So by divine right, we can just take it. We need the keys, though. Do planes have keys? Damn. I don't think her personal think... flying machine... They, they, they look like Da Vinci built them. Like, you could probably operate mm. that thing by... Like I said, I don't... Why, why are you trying to blackmail her? You could just go talk to her. Well, no, okay, I would, listen, listen, listen. Like, I could, I could, you, you know, right, listen. You can go out, you can ask, you can be polite, but, you know, I, you've been around 40 years, you've been around the block, you know, always to ha always have plan B, B for blackmail. Right, I was going to say, my, my, my plan A is usually just the kindness of strangers, but... Uh... Well, plan A is a, a for ask, plan B is B for blackmail. <laughs> what does C stand for? 
<clears throat> sea. I see the sea with my seers. The letter C. A is for ask, B is for blackmail, and C is just the letter C. Yes. Boy, you you folk have a weird way of talking. Okay, uh, I guess if you're really pressing me for how you would blackmail her, uh, I don't know. We should have made him roll for that. The, the kid? <laughs> the kid? The, 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 her, her son? Talk to her son? Oh, yeah. What if we know? kidnap the boy version of her? I'm, whoa, I'm hang on. I'm not saying kidnap. I'm just saying go talk to him. Okay, you, okay, you know what? I had a good vibe about you folks. Now I'm wondering if maybe that's been horribly. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. No, you can trust us. We're doing, we, we're doing everything we can to close the hole in the sky. You can trust us. Okay, I'm going to pretend you didn't say kidnap then. I'm going to ask oh, you okay. folks to move on your way now, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks for the hot chocolate. You. You're welcome. Yeah. Feel free to come back anytime. Just, you know, watch your language. <laughs> I'll use smaller words next time. <laughs> You're <laughs> silly leaf. <laughs> All right. All that right. Is, that was your time at uh, Hurricane Point Lighthouse, I guess. <laughs> we did it. So, uh, <laughs> uh, where where would you like to go next? Uh, I feel we have explored this area thoroughly. Um, I want to go see the human sacrifice. I mean, I don't want to see it, but I do. <laughs> well, no, look, look, hey, we we're gonna go to the place where there might be human sacrifice. We know there's a plane there too, so I mean. Yeah, we we have deniability. We can go see the plane's sac human sacrifice. Let's go. All right, a plane and a human sacrifice. Great, right. can land on the sea. Well, let's bring up the map. Ooh. Whoa! There, can't you just see that going into the Far Cry Five like music? Yeah, you're now you're, right. you're, you're now standing at number twenty. That's at the top. That's the little red one. That is the Hurricane Point Lighthouse. So if you want to head over to the Lost River Delta, you have a couple options. You could walk through uh, Port Discovery, which is just to the right. Or you could take the steamer line, which is a letter Y. That'll take you all the way over to Lost River Delta uh, via the river route to Station I Z. I would love to take the boat. I would also love to take the boat, says, Bre says Brent, his eyes wide. A boat is like if you took a surfboard and just <laughs> folded it into a V-shape. All right. And then put a top on it and rail it. It is one degree and personal flotation from devices. the sea. Yes. Obviously, you can return to any of these locations at any point during the game. There's more characters to talk to, things to interact with, and of course, the Cape Cod Cook-Off is going to be three in-game days from now. Which but we're going to win. You, head, <laughs> you uh, head over to the steamer station, which, you know, matches up with the rest of Cape Cod. Uh, there's got a big sign on it that says Grand Banks Cannery. Uh, this is clearly what used to be an old canning facility for the amount of cod they would probably catch in Tokyo Bay, or at least in this fictitious version of Cape Cod. It has since been converted to a steamer line. You approach, and there is a boat running in, waiting for some people to take a trip around Tokyo Disney Sea, and there's a couple of characters. Uh, one of them has a ponytail. One of them looks like a drunken sailor guy, and the other looks like he was the villain of a movie, but it has a big happy smile on his face. And uh, they give you a typical Tokyo Disney Sea wave to greet you, um, and sort of just wait to see what you do. Uh, where do we get steamed up? Oh, um, the, the 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 lady with the ponytail goes. Oh, um, sorry, I think you might be confused. This is a, a steam boat, like a steamer line. It's not like it's not like a steam room. Brent's brow yeah, no. furrows. But but I thought boats use wind. 
this boat uses steam and she suddenly goes into like little kid mode she's like we 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 put wood into a fire and then the fire generates heat and then that boils water and that creates steam and that's how the boat works Brent Brent it's one of those old things that they charge a lot of money for it's fine just it's fine. Oh, okay. Oh no, this is. Free. I'm not interested. Thank you. This is no. This is free transportation. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. I'm All the attractions surprised. at the park are included. That popcorn the wasn't. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, on that's the boat. not an attraction. That's a food item. <laughs> uh, where are you off to? We stop more. at two I'm... different stations. We can I'm... go back to Mediterranean Harbor, or we can go to Lost River Delta. I think we're trying to get to Lost River Delta. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Pat, do you do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna take them? And he goes, nah, I tell them if I want to. <laughs> She's like, okay. Uh, uh, Smiley, do you want to do it? And he goes, mm, I'd be happy to shepherd some folks around. Well, that thank reminds you, me of some of the older surfers I know who live on the beach. <laughs> Wait, oh, the the drunk guy. Yeah. And he goes, man, ah, there's a beach. There's a beach. There's a guy, this guy always going on the beach. <laughs> and she's like, I'm I'm terribly sorry about I'm terribly sorry about him. I, no, I finally <laughs> feel like I have someone on my level. I mean Yeah, he's, I, I, he's, I like how honest he is. He's a good he's a good uh you know, he's a good sailor. Do you want him to maybe be your ship captain for this trip? Sure, if if it's not an inconvenience. She goes, oh, no, no, no. I, I, honestly, it would, it, it would probably be good to get him out of our half and just a bit, maybe sober him up by, by bringing him, being on the boat. You two look like, you, you know, a decent couple of folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, all right, Pat, they're all yours then. And then uh, Pat goes, yeah, party. And then he takes a swig of something in a brown bag. Uh, and then hops on the boat. He's like, no, oh, come on, everybody. I'm sure that's going to shore. <laughs> All right, you distract him. I'm going to figure out how steam makes this boat move. All right. <laughs> Do you get on the boat? <laughs> yeah, of course you get on yeah, the boat. We're, we're getting on the boat. And I, and I right. engage directly with our captain. <laughs> You get on the boat and you start taking a scenic trip uh, just just around Cape Cod. The the steamboat is pretty slow, but um, you're able to oh, see a lot of like. beautiful sights from where you are. I'm sorry, I was picturing like a full like no, no, no. two deck uh, <laughs> uh, steamboat. These are just little tiny things like this. Okay. So here's your ship. It's making its way around Cape Cod and you can get a good view of the uh, Hurricane Point Lighthouse as you start to make your way into Port Discovery. Along the way, though, uh, Skipper Pat goes, hey, so where were you two guys from? I'm from San Diego, California. Oh! Around. California, hey, this is Surf's Up. Yeah, Surf's Up, bro! Hey, Surf's Up, bro! That's, that's, yeah, that's not the right thing. I'm from New York. Oh, New York, hey, Eiffel Tower! Nick Satan! Nick's Eiffel Tower. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> I like him. They go, me, I'm from Florida. I used to be a Jungle Cruise skipper over there, but then a giant fish monster attacked everybody. There was a lady with a flamethrower. It's a long story. Anyways, that's why the three of us are over here now. We got we got transitioned over to Tokyo Disney Sea, and now we don't do the Jungle Cruise skipping thing anymore. They still do that at the other park. It's not very funny. No one gets the jokes. But now we're here, and uh, we run these boats, and there's no animals attacking us, and there's, uh, there's all the good time. I see. Listen, I want you to answer me. Oh, see, see, I want you to answer me one tra question truthfully. Yes. Was that the question? Does the steam make the boat move, or does the wheel make the boat move? 
He goes, I don't know. And he fully just takes his hands off the wheel and walks over. And he puts his hand on his own zip. He's like, I think, I think the steam go through the tubes and then the tubes cause pressure. And then the pressure kind of pushes the wheels forward or something like that. I don't know. I only knew, I know this because I watched the Polar Express recently and that's like a steam train. And I didn't even know that's how steam engines work. Anyways, and he walks back to the wheel. Nothing happened, thankfully, on the way. But uh, but it's something definitely could have happened. There was no one steering the boat for a while. <laughs> do you do you know anything about the giant hole in the sky? Oh my god, oh, that thing! You know what? I think it was those sea people. You know, not the sea. Yeah, people, see, that, that's like, what I've been saying. Not, not them. I think it's the sea people. You know. After what happened at Walt Disney World with the giants, with the giant like monster attacking Jungle Cruise, you know, the, the, I, we couldn't even trust the Society of Explorers and Adventurers with that. And then we come here, and this is like their main branch of sea or something. And, and we're supposed to believe that this giant thing floating in the sky has nothing to do with them. I think it has everything to do with them. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard the words weather control earlier. Something oh yeah, hang on! We're just about to pass that. We're about to pass that. So you're passing through Port Discovery. You're greeted by massive Art Deco buildings, of innovation, science, retro technology. There's swooping metal beams and glass roofs that cover buildings around you, uh, and there's a sense of kinetic energy in the air. There's a as you're passing by, you can see there's another globe of the world. This one's made out of metal. And it's got the words Port Discovery laser etched into the side. Uh, you come across... How would we know it's laser etched? It would just be etched to us. <laughs> it's too clean for that. <laughs> All right, fair enough. On the way, you pass a building. And this building has a massive set of doors onto it. On the opposite side of the water, there is another set of doors, like giant industrial doors that open up into Tokyo Bay. And he says that this is the building with the that's the says that's the wet wet winter for sether control. He says, and who uh, runs the winter for sether control? Oh man, it's such a good guy. His name is Jimmy Storm. Oh, that's right, Jimmy Storm. Jimmy is Storm Jim, is Jimmy Storm a member of C? Jimmy Storm is, is a he, member and, of C. Yeah, and he's so C missing. literally controls the weather. They don't control the weather. See, okay, so here's the thing. See, they're supposed to be looking after the weather they they called themselves the center for weather control because they're trying to like come up with technology for like blue sky all the time or something like that uh, so those doors there they got like this cool seaplane and it flies out the water and then it goes out through that door and he points at the the door leading out to Tokyo Bay and he's like and they can fly up under the sky and they can see the weather and then they can let us know about like hurricanes and all that kind of shit I don't trust that they're looking after the weather because one time me and my bros were partying on the beach yeah. and someone complained and the cops said they'd look after it and then they showed <laughs> up and we all got arrested <laughs> yeah. he goes oh my god that exact thing has happened to me many times. But pardon me. That's why I don't trust them. That's why I don't trust these sea guys, you know? It's weird. They want to fly up into, like, tornadoes and stuff. It's really sketchy. And you've passed by the building now. Suddenly, a tree line sprouts up on either side of you as the water, the river that you're on sort of condenses in size. And you can start to hear the sounds of, like, kookaburras and stuff. You are now fully out of what used to be this retro sort of sci-fi area. And you have fully transitioned into the jungle. There's no view of any of the other places you've been so far. It's all covered up by trees He's like, oh yeah, so speaking of planes, and he points to the other side of the river, and he's like, there's a plane. There's a seaplane. Sea right, uh, I think it's Indiana Jones's plane. You know, he flies around on a plane. I think that's how he got here. He's, he's in that big temple thing. And he points, and you can see this giant sort of Aztec-looking temple on one side. He's like, I don't know what's in there. It can't be good, though. But but yeah, what else, what else do you 
I saw the Temple of Doom once, and then I saw a horror movie called The Temple. You continue along the Lost River Delta, you go under a bridge, and he points out, uh, he's like, there's over there. Oh my god, there's such good drinks there. That place is called El Dorado Cantina, and they got the best shit here. I thought El Dorado belonged to DreamWorks. It's just, you know what? It's, it's actually... Like, I think somebody from DreamWorks had a hand in naming that place, which is totally messed up if it's true. And if it's real, that's fucking hilarious. Uh, and just as you're about to pull into the transit steamer line dock, he points out another place. He's like, that place over there, that's called Tropic Owls, and they got the best fucking drinks in here. <laughs> So his loyalties are not actually reserved to one of these places. Well, uh, I'll, let me just give the usual spiel. Make sure to take small children by the hair. Uh, and if uh, you enjoyed my service, I've been Skipper Pat. And if you haven't, my name is Skipper Lucy. Uh, she's the girl over there. Get this is a joke. It's like, you know, she, someone else gets in trouble because I did a bad job. Isn't that funny? Hey, are that's any dishonest. Grabbing ring? <laughs> of all the audacity your character has to yell out <laughs> <laughs> alright well that's not a this, nice uh, thing get out of my boat more people gotta come in and you depart the boat you are now standing in the lost river delta there is jungle all around you and there is so much to see on either side of the river that runs between the two banks of the River Delta, I guess. I don't know how else to describe the area we're in. Let's bring up the map. You are now at position Z. Uh, there's plenty in this Zed, area. Thank you very much. Sorry, Zed. Zebra. You are now at uh, the sta the steamer station Z, uh, and you're in the Lost River Delta. So around you, just behind you, just behind us, there the is Lost River tropic. Outfitters. There's tropic oh. owls, tropic owls on the there far end of the river, which he said is great for getting drinks. Uh, also behind you is a store called Lost River Outfitters. Next to that. There is that other area for drinks, the uh, Miguel's El Dorado Canteen. And on the far end of that is a popcorn stand just outside of the Hangar Bay, which is a, a big area for shows. Across from the river, you can see there's another, e uh, there's like a restaurant and eatery called the Yucatan Base Camp. And then the most imposing thing on the other side of the river is the Temple of the Crystal Skull which is that big Mayan-looking temple. <gasps> uh, however, just beyond this side of the river, uh, not the way you came, you can see uh, the hints of the Arabian coast, which is where Sinbad's stronghold is and uh, one of the three pressing adventures that you need to go on. Right, we were so, going to arrest that guy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, you were. Yeah. So, adventurers, I'd like to ask you, where do you want to go now? Do we want to go see, see the human sacrifice, or do we want to go arrest Sinbad? <laughs> Both of them. But in what order, I guess, is what up. I'm asking. Well, now that you bring it up, I, 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 I have a distinct memory of being really fired up about arresting Sinbad. That so do you want to do said, that first? Wow. Well, hmm. Or do you want to make you know that what? the cherry on top of the end of the night? <laughs> let's make that. Let's make arresting Sinbad the 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 to be continued, as it were. <laughs> All right. Let's go see the human sacrifice. I want to go see if Harrison Ford's still alive. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you think he's the one getting sacrificed? All right. Let's go to the you could. Let's go to the Yucatan base camp because that seems like the first step before we get to the um the, the temple itself or can we go to the temple itself immediately you want to go straight to the temple to the temple as you walk up to the temple it's large and menacing behind the trees and the two of you get a feeling that things are going to get a little bit more creepy from here on out next time on tokyo rex <laughs> <laughs>